go to the doctor for anything. Of course, we lived on a cattle ranch, so most of the time it was like uh, if you had a cold or something like that, my dad would say, uh, you got a cold? Okay, so tequila and honey <laughs> for everything. That was the common cure, right? You, know, you, had, you had a cold, uh, tequila and honey. You got anything, it was tequila and honey. That was the, that was the cure right there. We had a bunch of little alcoholics running around the house going, <coughs> I'm sick again, Dad. Really? <laughs> for what it was, all right? One time my cousin had an ear infection, right? So, uh, uh, Dominic, I remember, he's screaming and hollering, we're going to take him to the emergency room. My dad said, no, 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 don't put him to the doctor. No, no doctor, no doctor. <laughs> Well, what are we gonna do, Dad? He's screaming. He's like, "Well, just put some pee in his ear." <laughs> you guys looking at me funny. That's you know, anyway. It's a true story. But they did. They put pee in his ear. Ur uh, urine. That's what he, my dad would. Urine. You know, urine. <laughs> I know what urine is, Dad. We're gonna put it in his ear. <laughs> he's like, "No, no, just put some." Like, anyway, they did. They, I guess they get uh, they get pee urine from a little boy. A little baby boy, they put it in the ear, has a, I don't know, has a pneumonia or whatever, but it took away the ear infection like that. The kid stopped screaming instantly. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's amazing. But what amazed me is not that it worked, what amazed me is how in the heck they ever came up with this, right? <laughs> that has some Mexican research foundation somewhere, some, some, you know, a line of people going, hey, what's wrong with him? I don't know. He's got an ear infection. Well, I don't know either, but I gotta take a leak. <laughs> hey, right on, man, that works. Bring the dude back with the sore throat. <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny. I don't care if we're a bad for I come with him like, that's funny. <laughs> oh, well, you know. The other difference is here is that, that nobody spanks their kids over here. I do. Oh, you do? Love that guy. <laughs> My mom would have killed half the kids around here. She would like, Yo, you're not gonna eat your food? Boom, they killed them, that's it. They wouldn't have, nothing. The rest of the kids, would have, they would have all ate their food, no matter what. Talk back to your mom at the store. I was at the store the other day, kid was hitting his kid, his mom. I want that candy. My mama got over there, wham, just killed him. That's it, they just dragged the little body out. <laughs> No mercy, nothing. It would have been, that's just the way she was. Did you imagine that? She was like Old Testament, right? In the Bible, that's what happened in the Bible. They just, they just, they said, if your kid starts acting up, bring it to us and we will kill him for you. <laughs> it was a Jewish law. They're like, hey, don't worry, we'll kill him. It's all right. God said it was cool. <laughs> you saying that? Good thing Jesus came and we had the mercy thing going because I can't even imagine that, right? Dad, I really didn't mean to do that. Are you going to take me before them guys? Come on, I don't want to die. Not everybody just kind of, nobody had an attitude, right? I don't think anybody got tattooed at that point, right? <laughs> Honey, why'd you get the tattoo? Because I wanted to. And back then, they'd be like, oh, really? You're dying. <laughs> we'd all them die. They'd be dead. I think a whole Bedford kids would be dead. <laughs> Homicide. Don't worry about the school shootings. <laughs> They're already dead. I know, I'm getting a little morbid, but uh, it was, it meant, it meant, how many know that that's in the Bible, right? Huh? The kid acts up and he just keeps on acting up. He didn't have time to go shoot up the school, they ought to kill him. <laughs> they just beat him up. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, but my mom was like that. She was like, you guys don't believe me. But if you grew up with my mom, she would, she would I'm telling you, she was straight. You know, you didn't eat your food? You're not going to eat your food? I mean, and, and I, I've never seen parents so much that ask their kids what they want to eat. I never seen that. I never in my lifetime. I'm like, well, this is crazy out here in Bedford. Kids, they actually have a choice. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom said, "What's the matter? You're not gonna eat that?" No. She didn't ask me, "Do you want this?" She just said, "No, I made it. You what? You eat it. You eat it. That's right. I've never seen anything like that, mom. I'm telling you, man. I." I <laughs> Good. I told my mom, I said, I wish we had that 800 number when I was a kid. Because I heard about kids calling on their parents, right? Yeah, don't do that. I'll call, you know. I'm, my mama said, you try to get to the phone. You ain't get no cell phone. I try to get to the phone. I can't imagine even try, even calling the, you know, <laughs> is this human protective child service thing? <laughs> What happened? My mom hit me. <laughs> what? It was pretty hard. <laughs> what? My phone number? Oh, um, how's your witness protection program? <laughs> That's what 
because she was that. You don't believe me, do you? It's all right. You go. I'm going to introduce you to my mom. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Actually, she's very sweet now. She don't admit any of that stuff. But she was. I'm telling you, I was. I was in the emergency room the other day, and I. I saw this. Uh, I saw this little kid who was tearing the whole emergency room up. He was kicking the coke machine. He broke. So he was kicking kids, beating everybody up, and nobody did anything. And everybody in the emergency room uh, down in Nashville was going like this. Because my mom would do that. It, my mom would hit me if she saw some other kid misbehave. <laughs> some other kid be acting up, and my mom would go, See that over there? Yeah. Ever do that? <laughs> you can't don't believe me. I'm serious. This is great. Yeah, she would do that. She would just, I'm telling you, she would slap the taste out of your mouth. You wouldn't taste the I can't taste my food no more. But, yeah, so the kid was turning the whole room up, right? Finally, the, I guess the mom feels that, like, she looks at everybody, she's like, oh, well, I guess I better say something. So she goes, Jason, okay, one, two, the counting thing. Who counts? My mom did, my mom counted, but she waited till she went, what did you do? Boom. One, two, you're out. Getting blood on the carpet. <laughs> my mom gets upset when I tell these stories. She's like, I was not like that. Don't you tell that story again. <laughs> I will tell your mom. What's that? I will tell no, your better mom. Not. You better shut up. Better not. <laughs> Don't tell. I hope that's, yeah, I'm already being taped, sorry. Sorry. You gotta say, because that's your excuse. I grew up with the nuns. The nuns would kill you. That They understood that principle about killing the kids, right? Uh, so, many, so many liberals are looking at me like, uh, who is he? I know he's her friend, but who is he? But uh, <laughs> I know y'all got to call on me, right? I'm at Protective Service telling at my door next tomorrow. So, uh, but no, I'm serious. I mean, being Catholic, you just got used to it. The nuns used to... Did you know that the nuns, back in the day, they had the power to whip you? Did you, can you imagine that? Yeah, they were spanky. They were no problem. They just did. In fact, you got a whooping. You didn't tell your mom because you get another one. <laughs> Nowadays, they, the, the mom comes to the school. He did not do that. He little <laughs> demon over here, you know what I mean? He did not do... J st sit down. No, don't tear that up. Wait. No, he does not act like that. <laughs> They're defending the kids. Back then... <laughs> Nobody defending the kids. Now, I'm sure there's... Look, I'm not for beating your kids. Well, kind of, but... <laughs> right, Rachel? I beat you up, baby. No. No, she more, she more a little tough on me. But uh, for the most part, <laughs> yeah. But being a Catholic, I mean, you, you, you remember, remember when you're Catholic, you go up to get your communion thing. How many Catholics here? Yeah, we go up to get your communion thing, right? Now, back in the day, nowadays a little more liberal. You can do a lot of different things. That the Pope said, ah, be easy on them. But see, back when I was around... You would go up to get your communion, right? And they would, they would put the, the communion on your tongue, right? You would get the communion. And they had these big communions like that. And you, it would go in your mouth. And it would stick to the roof of your mouth. And you, you know, nowadays you can... Uh, there you go. But, Jesus tastes pretty good. But, it, but back in the day, you could not touch it. I'm serious. It was, it was, they were serious stuff. I'm, there was serious implications, like my mom. I'll come back to the thing like that. On two. Anyway. So I, they, had like, they had like aerobics. No, set up. Get, anyway. So I, I, I got into the thing. I sat down there. And I'm going like this. And I'm praying. And I'm trying to get Jesus off the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Finally, I just go. My mom's don't touch Jesus. My brother and I, we used to fight all the time. And it starts when you're a kid. Because when you're a kid, you go outside and you play. My, my, uh, you know, <clears throat> another thing I've seen out here is I noticed that the kids get to eat first here. When I first saw that, I was like, what? We never got to eat first. All the adults ate first. And if you had something left over, maybe the kids would get to eat. <laughs> you think that's funny. <laughs> but that's what we used to do. But now, I, so, I'm, I'm telling you. We, so we go outside and you go outside and play. And the adults will come in. Well, anyway, somebody start fighting and then the kids will come in all the time. <laughs> you're crying. And you ever cry when you just can't explain what you're trying to say? Yeah. So you come in there. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I can't hear nothing that you're saying. Now be quiet. Now cut. <laughs> now say it again. <laughs> I can't hear nothing. Stop. <laughs> 
quiet. Okay. <laughs> okay, now explain to me what happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was... Uh, uh, and, uh, hit, 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 hit. Just go outside and play. <laughs> you never do that? Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's the way it was. But my brother was horrible. He would, my bro I'm telling you, we were getting fights for everything. True story. I know you don't believe this story, but uh, one time I came home from school and I had a, uh, my, my, my parents left $50 and said, we went to El Paso, we're going to be back a little later, so, you, you know, next day, so go get some groceries and we'll be back. There's no food, so, you know, and I, you come back from school, you're hungry. How many come back from school, you can eat a horse? That's me, man. I come back from school. And so I come back from school and there's a sandwich made on the countertop. And I'm like, man, that's a, look at this, so made a sandwich on the countertop. I'm starving. I'm calling the other brothers and sisters. Nobody's around. I can't hear anybody, see anybody. I'm like, hey, I'm taking a piece. So I got a piece like that. Ate the sound. I'm like, oh, I'm starving. My little brother comes in. And he walks in and he goes, did you take a bite of my sandwich? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Was there? I called the guy. Boom. Just hit me right in the mouth. Now, you got to understand, I never hit my brother in the mouth, but he had no, he had no problem ever hitting me in the mouth at all, any time, all the time. Now, he knew he was going to get killed, but he just figured he'd take the shot. So he hits me, and I, you know, I'm stunned, and I'm like, ah, I'm going to kill him. So at that point, this guy, does this ever happen to Bedford? No? Nothing like that, girls? No? Okay, well, good, then. Uh, <laughs> so he takes off running. He runs around through the living room, around up inside the kitchen, and going to come back. I'm following. I'm racing after as fast as I can. He's ahead of me. He's like that. He's round around. He comes around like that. He pulls the knife out of the mustard jar, comes like that, pulls the thing, runs back to the slider, he's back at the slider like that, get away from me! And he flings a knife at me. The knife goes, whoo, 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 boom! And it hit the side, I felt it hit the side of my bone here. You know, I thought maybe the handle hit me here. I'm like, oh, that hurt! I'm really gonna kill him now. So I run towards the door. As I'm running to the door, he runs out like that and goes up to the school. I get to the door and I'm like, man, that hurt. What I look like that, and a knife is sticking that far up inside, just barely hanging out that much. <laughs> of course, me not knowing better, I pulled the stupid new knife out. And so, <laughs> so I'm bleeding profusely. <laughs> so you guys never had this kind of fights, right? <laughs> it's a ghetto fight. So <laughs> I'm on the ground, and I'm, I'm like, I'm bleeding. I'm like, oh, you know. And uh, <laughs> of course, my little sister walks in and goes, I go, hey, call your aunt because, you know, I don't know what happened, but, you know. So he calls my aunt. My aunt gets on the phone, and she automatically, you got to understand, being Hispanic, you don't go, like, most people are like, are you okay? If it was Judy, I can imagine. She'd be like, oh, my God, are you okay? And this is my aunt. What happened? I'm going to kill you guys. I'm like, auntie, we didn't mean to. We were just kind of like, oh, shut up. I'll be right there. So she, dri she drives all the way to the thing there. 20 minutes, I'm still bleeding. Now, you think she called 911, being a Hispanic, though, we don't want no trouble. <laughs> we don't want no cops involved. So, she gets there, come to the thing like that, I go, <clears throat> she goes, she goes, put the towel on there. So, I'm putting this towel on there, I'm bleeding all over, and don't put blood on my seats. <laughs> so, I get the towel on there, and like that. She goes, okay, we're going to the hospital. This is what you told them. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay, you're playing on your dad's truck, because my dad was a landscaper, and he had sticks and all the trucks and everything like that. So he goes, you're playing on your dad's truck, and you folded, and of course this is in Spanish, so I'm giving you the translation. <laughs> <laughs> so you folded like that, and the stick stabbed you. You got it? Okay, all right, uh, I was on that truck, and it, I fall, and then the, uh, the stick stabbed me. Yeah, don't tell them nothing else. <laughs> okay, all right. So I go in there, I go into surgery, I almost, the doctor's like, you almost got your, you know, I just barely missed the kidney and all these other things like that. So he's sewing me up and he goes, wow, he says, what happened here? And I go, oh yeah, um, oh yeah, um, my, uh, um, oh yeah, I was on my desk truck and I folded and, uh, and the stick stabbed me. That's what happened. He goes. Really? <laughs> well, I guess the stick had mustard on it, huh? <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It's been fun.